Welcome to NCIX Tech Tips. Today's episode is all about Thunderbolt. So Thunderbolt was first introduced by Intel a few years ago called Light Peak as the code name. It was actually, it made its debut on the Apple platform. However, with the introduction of the P8Z77V Premium from Asus, Thunderbolt has made its way now to the PC. So we're going to tell you everything you need to know about how to use Thunderbolt on your computer as well as what are the advantages. Now ASUS doesn't always do a premium spec motherboard, but the P8Z77V Premium brings a lot of cool stuff to the table. It has a 32 gig SSD cache built right onto the board on an MSATA slot. It supports four-way crossfire and four-way SLI. And finally, of course, Thunderbolt. So their implementation of Thunderbolt required some pretty special engineering, both on the software and on the hardware side. Remember, this is a 10 gigabit per second connection over a single cable that is capable of daisy chaining multiple devices together. So they actually did a few things that were very different. They positioned the Thunderbolt chip right next to the Thunderbolt interface on the back of the board. They also found that using curved traces on the motherboard, which typically isn't done, was able to achieve better signal integrity and that's essential if you want to get those highest possible speeds. The last thing that they had to do was a ton of tuning on the UEFI BIOS level as well as the driver level in order to make it work flawlessly plug and play because Thunderbolt carries not only a display port signal, so we're outputting to that display over a Thunderbolt connection, but also a PCI Express signal and PCI Express is not meant to be plug and play. So the first question is, why would you want Thunderbolt? And the answer is, okay, it's this super high speed point to point connection that is capable of splitting out into multiple items at the end or daisy chaining into multiple devices at the end. So what's it good for? I'll tell you a few things it's good for. One, it is good for connecting to storage devices because Thunderbolt performs dramatically better than any other external storage interface that we have today. We actually are going to have a separate video all about the performance of Thunderbolt compared to the other options available, including USB 3, which if you guys recall, is capable of 5 gigabit per second. However, that doesn't necessarily translate into comparable performance to Thunderbolt. Okay, so performance for your external storage. Next, for cable clutter management. So instead of running separate cables to each of your devices, you can see the ones we have on the table here are actually running Thunderbolt to the GoFlex desk from Seagate, and then a Thunderbolt small short cable to the Lysine little big disk, and finally a DisplayPort cable out to the monitor. So with one cable chain, we have connected all three devices to our desk. Now that's not it. That's what we have today. However, the expectation is that Thunderbolt devices are going to be much more numerous in the future, including some pretty cool stuff because this is PCI Express over a cable. So you could even see things in the future like external graphics cards for your notebook that run off of Thunderbolt as well as your wall power. Now that you guys are all excited about your high speed storage and your easy daisy chaining interface. The next question is always, what do you need? What you need to get Thunderbolt going. Okay, so besides your Thunderbolt enabled PC and your Thunderbolt enabled devices, such as our Seagate GoFlex desk with the Thunderbolt dock, as well as our Lacy little big disc, you will also need a DisplayPort ready monitor, assuming you want to daisy chain your monitor into the whole connection. And you will also need specific Thunderbolt cables. Now Thunderbolt is such high bandwidth that no ordinary cable can contain it. So what is needed is actual processing chips at both ends of the cable that allow the signal to be transmitted through the cable. So it's actually translated at one end, sent through the cable and then interpreted at the other end by dedicated hardware. So not just any cable will do for Thunderbolt. That is the most important thing to remember about Thunderbolt. Now, not every Thunderbolt connection needs a Thunderbolt cable. You only need the Thunderbolt cable if you're going to be running data in addition to the DisplayPort signal. So for example, in our setup here today, we have a Thunderbolt cable running from the desktop to the GoFlex desk another Thunderbolt cable running from the GoFlex desk to the, to the Lacy mini big disk. And finally, we have a mini DisplayPort cable to a DisplayPort cable, no Thunderbolt, running to the monitor. The easiest way to recognize a Thunderbolt cable compared to a DisplayPort cable is by the logos on the end as, as well as the size of the connector right now because they're a little bit bigger due to the circuitry inside. 
Now there's a couple more things I want to mention before we wrap this up. One is that you're not tied down to DisplayPort necessarily. DisplayPort can be adapted to other interfaces, so all you'll need is a mini DisplayPort to DVI adapter if you don't already have a DisplayPort capable monitor, and you can run your DVI monitor at the end of your Thunderbolt chain as well. Last but not least, discs. Why do we even have them anymore? We have fast, flexible external storage options, and with the GoFlex desk, we can actually turn hard drives into our archival medium. So this is a three terabyte drive, and all I have to do when it's full is write a label on the front of it or put a label on the front of it and grab another drive cartridge, right? It's basically a cartridge at this point, pop it onto the dock, and there we go. I am quickly connected by Thunderbolt with a fresh set of storage. Now, not only is Thunderbolt great for mass storage, you can also even run applications over it because just like SATA, it is very well optimized for lots of random and concurrent accesses to the data, which means unlike USB 3, which is mostly optimized for sheer bandwidth and throughput, Thunderbolt is fantastic for running applications off of an external disk. This is important for desktop users who don't want to add a bunch of drives to their internal drive base, or maybe they're full, but it is especially important for laptop users who don't have the luxury of throwing in a new internal hard drive every time they need more storage space or more room to install applications. And with SSDs getting more popular, external storage is going to be even bigger in the years to come. So thank you for checking out this NCIX Tech Tips episode on Thunderbolt, and don't forget to subscribe.